one of the most popular songs of all time is Amazing Grace, written in 1773. It has been featured on more than 1,100 albums. Many know it as a church hymn, but it is also a powerful symbol of freedom and change. One of the most unfortunate chapters in American history is slavery. It was a brutal business. Africans were rounded up from their homelands and put on ships and brought to America against their will. The ships were packed full of people, mostly black men, chained together with little room, air to breathe, food, and water. If a slave on a ship got sick, they were usually thrown overboard and drowned. The owners of slaves did not care if their cargo died. The ships were packed extra full because they knew many of the captured men would not live. If a slave survived the terrible journey on a ship, often weeks in rough seas, virtually starving, they were sold, sold to the highest bidder. Slaves had no rights. They could be treated or abused in any manner. Slaves were forced to work at hard jobs without pay. They had to do what they were told. They could be whipped. They could be beaten. They could be killed. Most American slaves were from Africa. When America was founded, the wealth of the South was built on slave labor. Even though the Declaration of Independence states, all men are created equal. African Americans and people of color were not considered equal. As the northern states in the newly found America grew, their economies were based primarily on manufacturing. Northern states needed skilled craftsmen and laborers to work in factories. In the south, agriculture was more profitable, especially cotton. Before tractors and farm machinery, it took a lot of work to grow crops. It took a lot of labor. White landowners did not see Africans as humans and use them like animals. While slavery did exist in the North, it dominated the Southern United States. The U.S. Constitution gave the Southern slave states a great deal of power. The American Civil War was largely fought because of this imbalance of power. After the North declared victory, slavery was officially abolished. But this did not actually free African Americans. They were often not welcome in northern cities, and the South became a very mean, dangerous place if you were black. As recently as the 1960s, African Americans, even famous African Americans, could not eat at many restaurants, could not drink from whites only water fountains, could not stay in many hotels, could not attend many schools. They were denied jobs, schooling, the right to vote, and other things that many take for granted. The pain and suffering of slavery did not go away when it was abolished. In some communities, it has not gone away even today. When I play Amazing Grace on my guitar, I think of those that suffer, and I'm saying a silent prayer. John Newton was a slave trader. He trafficked thousands of men, women, and children to the auction block to be sold as slaves. In 1748, a violent storm threatened to sink his ship, and he fell to his knees and prayed for mercy. It was that night that John Newton came to believe that there was a higher power that hears and answers prayers, even for the worst of men. Over time, Newton changed his ways, repented for his actions. He became a preacher and wrote hymns. In 1773, he wrote a hymn called Faith's Review and Expectation, a song you know as Amazing Grace. It is one of the most popular songs in history, a song that gives hope to the hopeless and softens the hardened. It was sung by both the North and the South during America's Civil War. The Cherokee Indians sang it when they were driven from their homeland during the Trail of Tears. Civil rights protesters proudly sang it when they fought for freedom. It rang out when Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech. It is played in many styles with different instruments and different voices. I play it with a blues feel, paying homage to the guitar players that have come before me, musicians who have inspired me with awe. 
Having faith in a power greater than yourself is a freeing thing. It can change your life. The world would be a very different place without Amazing Grace.